two hours out here this morning until I couldn't stand up anymore I transplanted mostly okra squash a few cucumbers a couple things like that all right well this is what I wound up with I don't know how it's going to take uh, I planted a transplanted a bunch of red okra some I think black zucchini some squash, a few cucumbers, some spineless okra, and that's about it here in this garden and the other two gardens over there. Also got Marafi to come down and she put in a row of corn in each one of these here. And a few here corns here and there. Plus we threw a few squash seeds in and some watermelon seeds I think she put in here and there just no, nowhere special just everywhere uh, kind of it's, it's afternoon right now we had a little sprinkle right after it we started planting and Murphy's like oh there you go that's great for the plants so I got the hose out she couldn't believe I'm out here water and everything but uh, the grounds actually quite dry so I want to give everything a chance to grow I was curious to see how much damage the chickens did down here today. It doesn't look too bad at all. They didn't dig up any of the, the corn or anything like that. So that's good. And I'm going to cut this little group of trees here down. Maybe tomorrow. And then we'll have this clear area down here to plant in. Uh, maybe some sweet potatoes and some other things we'll put down here. It's not so fussy. Over here, I put a couple squash and I put some seeds in the ground here. Some squash seeds. Pretty, probably should have put in two more rows over here, but the guys were kind of tired of digging, I guess. So. We had pretty good luck with okra over here. I'm, I'm saving these. Uh, six okras here for seeds. These are the spineless variety. <laughs> Pretty cool looking flowers there, huh? Almost looks like almost like bird of paradise. Papayas grew pretty good here. But now everything's covered up. And we got these, got two rows over here. This is the spineless okra here. Look, they're they're going pretty good. A few, I think they're I think they're zucchini. Might put a couple pumpkins in too. I'm not sure what all sprouted. I don't know once they get going. And then two rows over here. So actually quite a bit of space. I got a lot of room for other plants. Uh, hoping the corn will come in. That'd be nice. And then we'll I'll start transplanting the tomatoes into pots. You know, do that later this week. Get those going. I don't have any luck with tomatoes over here at all with all the termites and stuff. But we'll put some up in the hanging baskets, the hanging containers, and give some to Philip and some to George. See, like these right here, they don't look like they're doing too good at all from the transplanting. But they might come on. You never know. The sun wasn't on them too bad today, so got pretty lucky. Pretty overcast out. Had a little sprinkle this morning. But uh, if we got okra and squash to grow and zucchini and stuff like that, that'd be pretty cool. And the girls would be pretty happy with that. And then we're real lucky we'll get some in the hanging containers for tomatoes and stuff. Uh, I'm real disappointed I haven't got any eggplants to sprout yet at all. That's something that grows very well here is eggplant. Especially the old Imelda variety, the purple and white ones. Those grow real well. Um, I don't know why they're not sprouting, anything sprouting at all right now. But just one thing at a time.
All right, well, that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching. Please click like and subscribe. You can contact us anytime at Blind Owl Outdoors. Thanks. Have a great day. Well, it's almost dark here. Uh, Marfie planted three rows of corn, four rows of corn. I'm going to go through before it gets completely dark here, and I'm going to put some radishes and some carrots down, so maybe they'll sprout up while maybe as before the corn does or whenever it doesn't make a difference and see how they grow uh, together we have no luck with radishes before but we'll give them a try and carrots really need looser soil and kind of a sandy soil but uh yeah you never know it's worth a try right